What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about 5 tips to get over a fear of doing flips way faster, alright? Everyone is struggling to overcome fears and mental barriers with flips. Uh, maybe not only flips, some other physical skills. So, today I'm going to, I'm going to, what? Today I'm going to tell you how to get over fear way faster with these 5 tips, alright? Now for the first one, you can already guess it. I talk about this the whole time, time on my channel. Uh, take smaller steps instead of the big leaps, all right? Yeah, so take smaller steps and take as much steps as you can, all right? The more steps you can take, the faster you'll progress, all right? It's way easier to take 100 little steps and get over the fear instead of taking one big leap and just trying to commit it in first in one try all right so take the small steps all right take your time don't try to progress too fast i know you want the trick so bad you're frustrated because you can't do it yet but take your time the more time you take the faster you'll have it let's move on to number two Right, so the second tip I got for you is a little add-on to the first tip I gave you. And that it is prerequisites, all right? So... Uh, what is a prerequisite? It's basically a trick you need to learn before you move on to a more difficult trick. As I would say, for example, if you want to learn how to do a full twist, a backflip full twist, you need to know how to do a normal backflip. So the backflip is the prerequisite for a backflip with a full twist. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, like a puzzle. The more pieces you have, and all those pieces are the prerequisites, the more prerequisites you have, there's a car coming, fucking irritating. The more prerequisites you have, the more pieces you have, the faster like the puzzle is completed, the more of those pieces you have, the faster you'll learn the whole trick. If you're missing things it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to unlock that trick all right so make sure you have your prerequisites train as much ma ma wait train as many different tricks you need for the official trick you want okay all right the third tip I got for you is optimize your environment all right what I mean with that is you want to make sure the place you're in is as comfortable as you can get it I'm talking about music, mattresses, trampoline or an air track or that, that there are no people around so, so you can concentrate at your maximum level. All those things matter, alright? So make sure everything around you is as good as you can get it. Make sure there are no people around, there's no loud noise coming from the side in your ear, whatever. Make sure that there are as little distractions as possible, okay? Make sure you slept well. Make sure there's no nothing in your head that's f***ing with your concentration. So make sure you're zen, concentrated, focused. All those things, make sure your environment is optimized, all right? There are no people around. I always have that. If there are people around, I can't do a whole new trick. Unless it are your, like your, your training friends, then it helps. And you can just, you have everything you need. Nothing can distract you. You have some mattresses. If you fuck up, you just fall on the mattress or whatever. If you're in a gym, make sure that there, there are no irritating screaming kids around. Because I had that a lot. If you train in a gym, you may know this. There are always little kids playing tag, screaming like idiots, running around. If you're trying to get a whole new trick that is scary as hell, it's uh, almost impossible. Like you can't ignore it or something. It's just insanely irritating, all right? So make sure you wait till those kids or something are gone. I str struggle with that a lot. I train, used to train in a gym a lot, a couple days a week, I think at least four times a week every single week every month for a couple years i think two years or something two and a half maybe even three i don't know but yeah kids all the all the time of course they're also part they can join like the thing is parents dump those kids because they're they are too energetic at home they just dump it in a gym lose your energy and we'll pick you up again and you can sleep at home that's how it goes with, with like 99 percent of all the kids in my gym for one year or something i was a teacher like i was a, a coach there like a trainer i noticed there are only a couple kids who really want to learn something 
So yeah, anyways, I think everyone is welcome in the gym. But yeah, try to uh, ignore it as much as you can. Try to wait. That's That was my biggest tactic, alright? So, it was, the training was for three hours. The first hour, I just warmed up. I was just joking around in the gym, trying to warm up and think of flip ideas and combos and stuff. And just talking to my friends and stuff while the kids were still there. Then, after that first hour, all the kids were gone. They had to go home every single time after the first hour. Only maybe a couple kids were left. But like the very loud, irritating, screaming kids were all gone after the first hour. So then it was time to get on with the serious training, alright? That, that was my tactic. Try it out for yourself. I don't know. With everyone it is different. Let's move on. Optimize your environment. It's the Yeah, that was the third tip I got for you. Optimize your environment. Let's get it. Let's move on. Guess where we are. Woo! The one and only trampoline. So the fourth tip I got for you is very obvious, very easy actually, but also very easy to forget. It's concentration, all right? Focusing. And one thing a lot of people forget, but it's very important with tricks, especially with tricks like the handstand, and it is focus on your breathing, and especially your breathing rhythm, okay? If you pick your breathing up, you will you can't concentrate because the oxygen isn't delivered to your brain right the right way i think i'm not a scientist i don't know all of that stuff but it has something to do with oxygen oxygen in your brain if you focus on your breathing you will concentrate way better and the chances that you will overcome a mental barrier are way 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 higher okay so focus on your breathing more of course you your body almost automatically does it but you can also just actively focus on your breathing, okay? Don't let your body do everything because you can concentrate with your brain, okay? The mo for the most part, your concentration comes from your brain, of course, because um, your brain controls your body. You don't want to let your body control your brain or just, you get it. So focus more on the most powerful thing you have when it comes to overcoming a mental barrier is your brain, okay? Focus, concentration, breathing, can't forget that. L-O-T-J, hey, what up? Okay, um, let's move on. Focus, oh, beautiful out of focus. All right, we have come to the fifth, last, but not least tip, the fifth tip I got to you is you can cheat some flips all right this is one of the, of the biggest tactics I use especially used but still use always I've always used this trick especially with tricks like backflips Cody's full twists uh, even cork in back out that's a corkscrew to a backflip in one flip that's like a, a double flip with one twist in it pretty insane it's cheating what do I mean with cheating for example with the Cody a Cody if you don't know what that is it's a like a backflip from your stomach you land on your stomach and you kick your leg backwards and you push off a little bit with your arms some people say that's wrong some people recommend it I don't really I don't think it helps it's especially the kicking your leg backwards that gives you the rotation but basically it's just it's just a backflip from your stomach of course if you first try that trick it's scary you're not going to be able to do that trick first try of course unless you don't know what you're doing most of the times so one thing that helped me the most with especially the cody is cheating it over your shoulder one trick that helps with that the most is the macaco of course let me show you a real quick macaco a cheated backflip with one hand that's how you can call it it's the one, literally one of the best most valuable tricks you can ever learn okay check it out that's it and from that trick you will learn how to cheat any backwards flip all right so for example, if you're trying to do a Cody, you can land on your stomach, you can go into the backflip, but you can keep looking over your shoulder, you can cheat it a little bit like that, a little bit like that, 
What am I doing? You get it. You can cheat it like crazy and you will be able to learn that trick way quicker. I had like a war with this trick with Cody for like one year straight. I couldn't get it. I finally got it. I lost it again and I finally got it again. I lost it again. I got it again. I lost it again the whole time throughout the whole year. Shut the hell up. But yeah, thanks to cheating it, I finally got my Cody and uh, now I can uh, Easily do Cody, always. Also, even I'm gonna train Cody Fools this summer. All right, I'm hyped for that. Cody Fools are a really dope trick, and it's not even that difficult to learn. It's just, uh, it's just a normal Cody. But just after you took off for the backflip, you need to throw one arm up like that. All right, just like a full twist. Backflip, land on your back, Cody, and just throw one arm like that. Chin, of course, to that side, and just Cody. Also, very easy to learn. You can just do a half turn onto your back just like a, a cody arabian and from that you can learn a full twist little cody full tutorial right there okay let's fucking go cheating it cheating helps a lot because the reason why a lot of flips are scary especially with like back flips you can't see where you are going you can't see anything because if you're gonna do a backflip you can see everything in front of you but you can't see where you're going right you can't see anything unless you cheat it because then you can look over your shoulder. I can see the ground. So if I want to do a backflip right now, I can see where I'm going. You can just boom. And that is where the makaku comes in real handy, all right? With a front flip, you can see where you're going. You can see the ground in front of you. That's a good video idea. Just popped up in my head. That's a really good video idea. I'm gonna make an in-depth video about why the front flip is less scary then the backflip something like that so stay tuned for that video i'm gonna make that video very soon so just that's a good idea just popped up in my head wow let's freaking go cheat some flips i hope you got value out of this i gotta say what i always say have a freaking great day and i'm gonna catch you on the flip side peace Woo. oh what's so smooth okay